Hey y'all, it's Andrew Reed with Mossy Creek Mushrooms, and today uh, we're in a noisy room, so I'm going to speak loud, but uh, it's for a good reason. I have been looking for a way to go from liquid culture to bulk substrate for a very long time. And I will tell you, we figured it out. These right here behind me <laughs> are test blocks, this entire shelf uh, that's behind me. There's a few more back there. That was liquid culture direct to bulk substrate, and bam, you can see the circles we just injected oh, right about there uh, into the bottom. In fact, I'll show you a video of me doing some. But um, it was just 10 cc's, so one, one 10 millimeter syringe, milliliter syringe uh, of liquid culture to a pasteurized block. I figured this out because. I've been trying for years to get Master's Mix, Master's Mix, to take on liquid culture. This bag was done January 5th. No growth whatsoever. I have actually already tried to make this video once and then it didn't turn out the way I wanted, so I'm doing it again. So pardon this block, which is all crushed up, but practically completely grown in. All of this stuff, you can see, Oh, come on. That's grown in. These were pressure cooked blocks. This is of the goat mix. This is of master's mix. Now, those were pressure cooked. These were pres uh, pasteurized in our steam, atmospheric steam uh, pasteurization. The super pasteurized, I think is what they call it. Uh, and you can see it even takes on the pasteurized substrate. I've always thought that Master's Mix just wouldn't work because it was pasteurized. No, it doesn't seem like it. It doesn't even take on sterilized. It is literally the straw. The way I figured this out was Jackie, <laughs> the, our farm manager here, was putting the pellets into the bags and we ran out of sawdust pellets for our grain to spawn bags. And he threw some on top and when I came in and inoculated them, I sprayed the liquid culture over the grains and over the pellets that were there. And they were slightly hydrated from being, you know, steamed in the pressure cooker. Uh, the straw took off way faster than the grain. And I was like, no way. Really? Like, is this going to work? Lo and behold, it does. You can see, I mean, look at this. It's already grown almost across the entire bottom and it's grown up the top. I have no idea how big the core in this is. Um, I will say that next time instead of going through the plastic, which all I did was rub with alcohol, stab in, inject 10 cc's, pull out, and then cover with packing tape, instead of doing that next time, I think that I'm going to spray it across the top of the block and let it dribble down the sides. The reason being, on these pasteurized blocks, sometimes the top contaminates. I don't know if you can see that green mold right there, but that green mold is on the top of the block. Yeah, you can see it there. So, <clears throat> that said, I think that we can go liquid culture to bulk sub any day now. This means take a jar of liquid culture, screw it on a cattle vaccination gun, and uh, start injecting those bags in your lab. You may not even need your HEPA filter to do it at this point, which is really cool. I will say I still sealed the bags, so I mean I would suggest having a HEPA filter for this, even even though even though you're going through when, during inoculation, and they wouldn't be open very long. And if, honestly, if you sprayed on the top, maybe you wouldn't need a HEPA filter. Who knows at this point? Please, everyone that wants to try this out and let me know what variations you come up with because this is exciting stuff. This is stuff that people have been working on for a very long time and very few people have ever gotten to work. So I want to see this. Um, beyond that, this is just oysters. I haven't tried it with anything beyond oysters. So this may just be an oyster mushroom farm operation, but it is only possible so far that I've found on the goat mix. Um, I really don't really know what else there is to this. We'll see 
I'm gonna try fruiting these as soon as they're done. This was with no shaking, and this is what I'm hoping we can do is inoculate, no shake, just seal the bag, throw it on an incubation shelf, and then fruit it in your grow room. No shaking required, ever. And I, I think that that's very much possible. In fact, uh, if you take Erlenmeyer flask and you grow your liquid culture in an Erlenmeyer flask, you can probably just hand pour liquid culture uh, into bags and get a fair, you know, more than 10 cc's in there. Because these were done January 10th. Today is now day 39 of the year. So, I mean, you can see there's there's what 29 days. Typically, my blocks would already be grown in. Doesn't matter to me that it's slower. If it is less labor, I can design a system that will handle the slowness, right? We just start the cycle, continue the cycle. As the cycle goes on, eventually it catches up. Uh, all that shaking labor that I pay for right now, or people who are spending, you know, making dryers to shake bags or all this stuff, that may not be something we have to do anymore. At least with the goat mix and with uh, the oyster mushrooms. Let's see, I'm gonna test heresiums. I have heard that heresiums will, liquid culture will take to master's mix. That is my next test um, in this, you know, like substrate trials that we're doing. But guys, this just makes the goat mix that much more exciting for me. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, put them down below. If you guys have any ideas, or if you have done this, uh, liquid culture to bulk substrate before successfully, put that down in the comments and uh, let me know how you did it because that would be just absolutely awesome to see um, to see other people making this happen so uh, as always y'all hit that thumbs up button please subscribe because that helps me more than anything and uh, as always y'all keep spawning culture There's something in the air